No matter what level of interest you have in cars, trucks, and performance, you've probably been beaten over the head with the saying, oil is the lifeblood of your engine. The reason you've been beaten over the head with that is because it's true. And your choice of oil impacts everything in your engine. Today, I'm going to break down some key things all you diesel folks need to know in regards to oil viscosity options and oil weights, right here in the Amsoil Garage. This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Within the last 10 years, OEMs have increasingly lowered the viscosity recommended for diesel trucks. Even today's half-ton Duramax calls for 0W20. These lower viscosities are not necessarily because it's a better solution for the engine, but rather it offers better fuel economy and the same thing could be said for making horsepower. If you want to make horsepower, you'll typically move to a lower viscosity fluid. A lower viscosity oil in the engine flows more readily and there's less power consumed in the engine. However, there's a fine balance between making 1,000 horsepower with a 20 weight oil and maintaining that engine's life before it blows up due to a lack of film strength to manage that 1,000 horsepower. Talking about trucks that are daily drivers, if you pick up the owner's manual, you'll see that 5W40s and 15W40s were still popular 10 years ago. Then, 10W30s started to come into the scene and are still recommended today. Again, OEMs are dropping that viscosity for fuel economy because the average person buys a truck to simply drive around. The majority of folks don't tow anything heavy or race their vehicle. The average guy can get away with running a 10W30 all day long and never have any issues. Those guys that are towing heavy loads all the time or going to the track or the strip every once in a while, you folks should consider running 40 weight oil. 40 weights are gonna give you more film thickness and more protection between rotating components in the engine. Now, for those of you out there with a dedicated race truck, you should consider the 50 weight realm. This depends on how much horsepower you're putting out, however. If you're still in the 1,000 horsepower range, you can probably get by with a 40 weight oil. But if you're going to go well above that and touch 2,000 horsepower or more, you should be using a 50 weight oil. That's simply to keep distance between all of your rotating components. Now the caveat to all of these recommendations is in the winter time. Do you need to change your oil and viscosity for wintertime conditions? Well, most common rail diesels are running something like a 15W40 or a 5W40, which are good wintertime viscosities. Oil viscosity becomes more important for crank speed in Huey engines than in common rail engines because the Huey engine has to crank over faster in order to build fuel pressure. Because that injector uses engine oil to build fuel pressure, you need the viscosity to be thinner in the winter. For this reason, in a Huey engine, you might change viscosities depending on ambient temperature, and in a common rail, you might not. Your engine oil's viscosity has to do with wanting the engine to crank at a certain speed. A diesel needs to compress that fuel, which means it probably needs to crank over longer in order to generate enough heat to compress it and fire. Glow plugs will help you, but crank speed is important for diesels and having the right viscosity oil is key. So remember, if you run a dedicated race truck, you should be using a 50 weight oil. If you run a weekend warrior, but still drive the truck regularly, you should be using a 40 weight oil. And if you're just doing the average daily driving and not towing anything, you can use what the owner's manual suggests, which in most cases will be a 30 weight oil. In addition, for those of you with three liter diesels, those call for 5W30 oil or possibly a 0W20. To keep your diesel engine running well, the right oil matters. And all of the oil options that I've mentioned are available from Amsoil at amsoil.com. I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and thanks for joining me in the Amsoil Garage. Mm -hmm.